Hello everyone, this is Sadam. For auditing user login, we have got multiple tools available as open source and freeware to get the required job done. For example, audit day service can be configured to audit uh, login information. But what if the service is not running on your system and you still need to uh, generate login reports? So then LTracer can help you in getting your job done. Do you know that uh, Linux kernel maintains uh, encrypted data files which records all the actions related to your user logins, power cycle, etc. by default? Yes. LTracer makes use of this uh, kernel files as source for data and then it uses the that data into human readable data with the help of uh, kernel utilities. Then this data is processed and formatted to filter out only necessary content then it is displayed on your terminal. Best part is uh, LTracer gives you the privilege to export the data in form of CSV files which can be accessed using Microsoft Excel or spreadsheet applications. So without further ado let's get started. So let's have a look at uh, github page and follow instructions to download and install utility. So this is the official uh, github page for this utility so if you just scroll down here you need to download the rpm file and uh, hit enter file is downloaded currently i'm in this directory and now to install this copy uh, rpm hyphen ivh l tracer and then hit enter now this utility is been installed now how to use it you had to use uh, using the elevated privileges uh, in linux you can use sudo sudo l tracer so this is utility in this uh, you have got three sections first uh, reports uh, all your active sessions second section uh, reports your login history this doesn't include all your active sessions okay and the third section uh, which is a uh, very important uh, for the failed login attempts where you can uh, identify like from which uh, source and ip people are trying to access the any particular server okay so let's uh, look into the active sessions press 1 enter it is telling that there is one uh, active session from this ip and now it is asking you would you like to save the report in csv format no so let's uh, run this utility once again now we will be choosing uh, option 2 so since uh, this server is built it is showing all the login information here you can see uh, the timestamp of this uh, login is uh, Jan 2nd 2019 okay if you just uh, come to the end it is December 10th okay and if you want to uh, save yes you can still I am I will be selecting no here now the let's uh, explore the third session so yes and we'll be using option 3 now it is showing like all these are failed attempts okay so what we uh, are going to do now is we will test uh, this fail attempt now uh, let's open a duplicate a new tab and let's come out of this and host name uh, let's use ssh learning tube at sent os which is my host name one and hit enter it is asking for the password by the way this user doesn't exist so i just give the wrong password because any anything it won't work because there is no user for this okay now let's run the utility once again 
and let's choose option 3 and hit enter now here you can see all the attempts made with the username learning tube and from the uh, server I source IP and with the timestamp now if you want to uh, save the report yes press Y enter it will show you like uh, the location where the report is saved just copy it you can uh, just uh, exp open this report from uh, terminal as well but uh, it won't be that formatted but once you look into the same report in excel sheet it will be uh, using the excel it will be good uh, properly formatted so here all this uh, information is recorded in this please do give it a try and don't forget to hit like and subscribe to this channel let's meet in next video thank you all